Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing this morning? I was trying to put on a little makeup here for you. Old time, all around grandma is trying to get her some. I, I think I did that one too deep. But I told you, you know, like I said before, my eyebrows are not even. And so I'm just putting a little bit on there. I'm looking kind of pale, but. It's like, where's the color? I gotta put some, I gotta get some rouge. I guess you call it rouge. Do they still call it rouge? Blush. Okay. <laughs> I got to get some blush to put up all there. And I got that little thingy yingy going on up here this morning, y'all. Ain't been too long got up. I got my cup of coffee here. But you know what I didn't do. I'm just realizing, y'all. I ain't took my medication. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. That's what the problem is right there. I got to eat. And I have not had anything to eat this morning. But I just got up and had my cup of coffee. I was late getting up, y'all. I was sleeping like a log. Now, when I got ready for my appointment, as I always say, when I got to get ready to go someplace, that's when I cannot sleep. But I was sleeping like a baby. And I, I would wake up. Go to the bathroom, come right back, fall right back to sleep. My body was tired. My body needed. It wasn't milk that my body needed. It wasn't doing my body no good. It was sleep that I needed. And so I woke up. I said, okay, we're going to tackle something this morning. And so, well, I haven't tackled anything yet, but I'm about to tackle something. Ah. I think I need probably lift this up a little bit on this side. I need a mirror. This this I'm doing this in a camera, so you know. That either I might have to bring this one down or lift that. Who knows, y'all? I ain't got time to be worried about that. But anyway. I was wondering if y'all had noticed my fingernails yesterday. Believe it or not, I had meant to tell you about it, but these are little butterfly stickers on my fingers. And this nail polish is not staying on that well. I think it's because it's getting a little older, so I'm going to order some more nail polish tomorrow. I mean, today, probably later on today. See that? Those, little, those are butterflies. But I got the stickers, and I should have gotten the more expensive ones. But I still don't know how this is going to work for me, you know? And so, it's a whole bunch of them that come in a pack from Amazon. I got these from Amazon. But then after I bought them, I got to thinking I should have went to Tate Moo. Probably got them a lot cheaper. See, these are the little stickers. I don't know how well... They're showing up on there. I've got, it's got like everything on there. Little butterflies, uh, flowers. Then I got the ones with the roses. And I say I was going to, like I said, I'm going to order the better ones. You know, pay a little bit more money. I think these were $7.99 or $8.99, maybe something like that. And these are the little flowers. They're yellow. I don't know if they, I don't know how well they're showing up on camera. Lighting's not that good. And then I've got these, uh, I think they're blue and, you know, they probably will show up better if I put them on top of, you know, do the, do my nails and I don't know how many sheets there are in here. There's a lot of sheets of these things. And these, I think, would show up probably better if I had put those on there. But I had done my nails while I was going to the doctor's office yesterday. So they put on a couple of butterflies on these nails, you know, to dress it up a little bit for the doctor. Here's another one. It's, it's just a whole... I don't know. Let me see. Two. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets of these things all different they are all different and i would imagine you know something like that if you put it on whatever color nail polish that you have but like i said you know they, they peel off and they're stick they're stickers and they stick 
Uh, oh, excuse me. They stick right here on your nails. Eh. Look at that. And believe it or not, when you wash your hands, you know, I've been washing my hands so much. And, and I told myself, I was since COVID is over, I was just going to stop washing my hands like that. And so, but like I said, they don't... Um, it don't, they don't come off just because you wash your hands. They're like a little tiny sticker. You know, like a kids like to put their little stickers. And, kids love stickers. If you ever have a grandkid or great-grandchild or something like that, you know, preschool, little uh, schoolers, little school kids. I say primary uh, grade school kids. They love stickers. And they stick them on any and everything so if you ever need like a birthday gift or something like that to give a little kid just give them a book give them some stickers you know like I, I i now how my grandkids used to do i used to have my uh address stickers because i had a lot of them i would you know like these and a lot of them are colorful and stuff i still got quite a few in my drawer and so when my grandkids were small they come over they stick a sticker they would stick this sticker, and it keeps them busy for a long time, y'all. Yeah. I'm telling you. That crayons, and the frost, if it's nice outside, you don't want no ball bouncing in the, hall, in the house. But they will bounce a ball in the house. Outside, get them a ball, uh, uh, either a little plate, a swimming pool, something like that. Kids love it. They love it. You don't need all this expensive stuff. And a plain old cardboard box. You just made a kid's day. Give them one of those. <laughs> they in the box, out of the box. They got their sister, brother, whoever. Even by themselves, they play in the box. I remember when my kids were small, sometimes I used to put them in the laundry basket and play with them, pull them around. And they just love that. It doesn't take a lot to make a child happy. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a bike. And all that just to make a child happy, especially if you can't afford it. I mean, things can be very expensive these days, you know, for uh, children. You know, you can go bankrupt, believe me. I, even though a lot of times we parents, us parents, I'll put myself included, we buy a lot of things for our children that we didn't have as we were growing up, things that we may have wanted. Like me, I, I don't remember having like dolls and stuff like that. I had one little, I think I told that little story before up here, a little, we used to call him little churn. And I had one little doll, you know, he had a little swing, little plastic, about, probably about that big. And it was the only toy that I think I had left. And I was in school and my mother had company that day. Um, the uh, cousin, she was a cousin, we used to call her cousin. And her son had came down there to talk, you know, visit with my mother that day. I was in school. But the little boy, you know, he uh, he, he wasn't quite old enough. I think I must have been about a uh, grade or head of him or something like that. And he came, of course, with his mom. And I had my little children and my little swing sitting there, you know, because that's the only thing I had. And while I was in school, he broke it. I never forget that too. Oh, that hurt me so bad because I didn't in half. But like I'm saying, when you get grown, a lot of times we buy what we didn't have or what we wish we had. But now, like my children, when they were growing up, I bought a lot of games, which meant that I got to play these great games with my children. And they were just arguing, arguing, arguing. I said, oh, no, I can't play with these kids. We had a lot of, you know, like board games, Scrabble. As they got older, we had Scrabble, Game of Life. Um, what else? Uh, I think one of my daughters had the Othello, which I never really knew how to play Othello. Um, Monopoly. Oh, Lord, don't let's play Monopoly. Oh, no. You talking arguing. Ugh. I said, I just can't play with these kids and get on my nerves. They're making me mad, man. And uh, especially, you know, you play with the older ones because the, the younger ones come, you know, they came later. 
And so, but like I said, you know, when you got little children like that, that's all you need. Give them a spoon. I used to give mine a, like a wooden spoon, you know, that you're cooking with your, your wooden spoon in your kitchen. And the oatmeal box. Oh, boy. That's a drum. Boom, boom. Did you hear that? Oh, good. Why did I give that child that? And sometimes they'll bang on the box with it. Boom. And... <laughs> <laughs> You're driving your own self nuts, but at least the kid is busy. The kid is out of your hair. He's enjoying himself. But anyway, I don't know how I got to talk about that, y'all, but that's the game of life. That was fun, too, the game of life. I used to love the game of life. Game of life, Scrabble, Monopoly was the king of them all, though. The king of them all, y'all. And, uh, I never, I never actually um, played Jenga, Jenga, J-E-N-G-A. I never actually 